First, I will convert this CMYK image to two spot colors. I'll use yellow as a source channel for a Pantone green. Here you can select process inks to be mixed under Pantone green. Now I convert the blueberries to a Pantone blue using plate information from the magenta. Again, I set up the underprinting process channels. In this case, I deactivate all of them. You can turn spot channels print simulation on and off. You can check hard edges at the highlights according to your minimum dutch settings. Now let's see retouching features for spot channels. First, I'll apply a curved layer on the green leaves. These changes can always be turned on and off, so all spot channel modifications are non-destructive in this plugin. Now I create another curve for the berries on the Pantone Blue channel. If you change your mind, you can always undo that without losing any details of your spot channels. The same principle works for cleaning features. For example, if I delete two berries in the background, I can get them back by simply turning off the clean layer. Another useful feature is the minimum dot fill. This is also non-destructive, you can undo it anytime. You can see that all process plates are empty, we've got two spot plates only in this file. Here are all retouch actions that belongs to the Pantone Blue. You can turn them on and off one by one. 